Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wajaha and today we are going to cover another wallet. Now, I'm sure some of you have been on Twitter. Some of you may have heard about the recent things going around about MetaMask and the RPCs tracking your data, your IP address. Now, I'm not too sure about the technicalities behind it and I don't know how accurate it is. You know, perhaps some of these other wallets do the same thing with these RPCs. Um, and I think maybe overall wallets need to improve a little bit, but today I thought let's try some of these other wallets again. We've talked about Rabi Wallet uh, recently on the channel. Uh, and today I wanted to talk about one of the other popular ones that most people are using nowadays. It's called Frame. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. Essentially, what I want to do today is just kind of go through some of the features that Frame offers uh, and essentially why I think it's actually a better version than MetaMask, actually. Uh, I, I think you'll actually have a much better user experience using Frame. Uh, in order to get started with using the Frame wallet, uh, you can go to the, their website uh, and you'll have to just uh, download the, the, the wallet, you know, directly from here. So I'm on Mac over here. So that's exactly what I've done. Uh, and then you can pretty much get started. Uh, you'll have your little icon here in the corner as I have. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, jump straight to it. So the first thing is you can get started. You can click this button here and you'll be able to see uh, all your wallets. If you want to actually add a wallet, you can just click this plus button over here. Uh, and you know, you can um, uh, add, add a new account. So we can add, you know, depending on if we've got a device, seed phrase, uh, whatever kind of account we want. So in my case, you know, I used the seed phrase that I had of a spare wallet uh, and, you know, I just entered that in. It's pretty straightforward. You enter your seed phrase, you click next, you create a password, click create and you're able to see your wallet right there. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, you can add uh, as many different wallets as you want and you'll be able to see them all over here in this particular area. So if I click on this arrow, uh, I'll be able to see, well, I'll have to unlock it, but uh, we'll do that later. Uh, you'll be able to see a few different things. So at the top, you can see the address. You can see that we're on the main net. You can see the current uh, gas at the moment. You can see Ethereum's current price as well, which is lovely. If I click on main net, I'll be able to change to various different um, networks. I've just selected these for the time being, but you can add as many different networks as you want. Um, and if I click over here, I can click add chain or some of them will even be here. Uh, as you can see, polygons here, some of the test networks are here and yeah, you can just click add chain, uh, put in your details as you would, uh, with any other kind of network. Um, so yeah, let's go back. Um, what, what else do we have here? Well, we have the fee monitor so we can see the current GUI at the moment and we can see how much it costs actually to send ETH, to send the token and to do a, an exchange on a DEX, which is really nice as well as the current price of Ethereum. Uh, we can see here your balances and all of your tokens will kind of appear here. Under here, you've got your inventory. So this might be things like NFTs and various other things that you have. Uh, and then you can see which um, networks or which uh, dApps, sorry, that you've connected with. And you can see here that I've been on Curve, I've connected with Frame, uh, and you can kind of clear all the permissions as well, just like that. Uh, and yeah, uh, other than that, you've got your account settings at the bottom. You can see this is my test wallet. Uh, and, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a very nice looking um, interface. Uh, it looks pretty clean. You can change it to, to light mode as well if you want. Now they do have some interesting features. If you connect it with Twitter, uh, you can actually verify people's um, .eth address. So you can see here, here's Vitalik. Uh, and it comes up with this little icon here. And I can see that this is his uh, ETH address. Uh, and uh, I can see all the different NFTs that Vitalik.eth has as well, which is lovely. Uh, I think this is a great feature. Nice to be connected uh, with Twitter as well. So yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, nice little uh, feature that we have there. I think uh, one of the interesting things that you can also do is you can actually, if I go and try and add a wallet and I click add new account, I can add a watch only account. Uh, and essentially this is an account that I can just basically watch directly within my wallet. You won't be able to sign any transactions with it. You won't be able to do anything with it, but you can actually see a lot of things. So if I wanted to add uh, Vitalik.eth, uh, I can do that uh, just like that. Whoops, have I typed it in wrong? Vitalik.eth. Okay, uh, I think I need to actually get Vitalik's uh, address. So let's do that right now. Okay, let's get his address. Okay, let's just close this for a second. Whoops. Let's copy this. Okay, now let's try that again. Apologies for that. Let's add an account, add a new account. 
add a watch only account let's put Vitalik's address in ah and there you go see just like that so we've got a watch only account which works like normal but yeah we just can't sign and now if I want to have a look I can actually have Vitalik's kind of wallet <laughs> as, as my own essentially and I can see all the different assets that he has you know he's got um quite a bit of ether quite a bit of die uh yeah he's got two million two and a half million worth of tokens in this particular wallet i'm sure he has a lot more in his other wallet uh, and we can kind of see look look we can see uh some of the nfts that he's got he's got loads and loads and loads of them uh and we can actually play around with it if you actually want to send a token from what your address to another address you can click the send button over here um and this will load uh, and you get this nice little interface here and then you can kind of see look you've got this many tokens on how many different chains you can select whatever token that you want you can search by name so let's see if he's got usdt so he's got some tether he's got some tether on polygon and ethereum so we can just pick whichever one we want to send uh, and all you have to do is send an address uh, or an ens name so imagine if we were sending it directly to him this is what we'll do so it'll be it'll ask you, you know, how much USDT do you want to send to this particular address on the Polygon network? So we'll just send one for right now, uh, and and you just click send transaction, uh, and then it will come up on here. Uh, transaction is not currently on selected train, so we'll just click proceed. Um, it'll tell you exactly what's going on, how much the fee is going to be, and all you need to do is click sign. Now, of course, I can't do that because this is just a watch only account, but um, that's pretty much how it works um and yeah i think that's really interesting i like how it looks it you know it takes you through different parts you get this nice pop-up as well um before you send your transaction so that's great um and we'll just close that right now and you'll see here like recent transactions it'll say signature declined and this will remain here for a little bit before it goes away so yeah i think that's a really nice feature um that we have over here um yeah uh, i mean i think it's a nice wallet uh it's pretty easy to use uh, I like that it's got uh, these tokens with uh, you know the percentage increase and decrease as well in terms of their price uh, you can see exactly what your balance is like and uh, yeah, with NFT inter integration uh, as well as cool things like uh, being able to go on Twitter and just see people's dot uh, ETH address uh, which you can then verify I mean I wonder if I can find anyone else's uh, look here you go here's someone else that I've just found uh, look, I can see exactly uh, this person's um, you know dot ETH, dot eth address. I think that's pretty cool. Um, if I click on it, you'll be able I'll be able to go directly to OpenSea and have a look. I I, I think features like that are pretty cool. Um, just being able to verify people's dot ETH address. Nice nice integration. I think the actual wallet itself is pretty pretty easy to use. Um, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I mean uh, try for try for yourself. See what you feel. Um, of course, everyone's going to have their own preference, um, but yeah, overall, I think um, this is a nice wallet and I probably will be using it from time to time. So yeah, that, just wanted to give you a quick overview of a different type of wallet. Give it a try. There are alternatives to MetaMask. There are lots of other wallets that people use these days, uh, and this might be one of the better ones. So yeah, give it a try. See if you like it. Uh, and yeah, that's frame for you. So that's all I've got for you today. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with another video soon.